This is the example how to treat the cosmetic acupuncture. In this time, I used 12 needles. I put needles nearby eyelash points, cheek, and under her chin. Under her chin, I target pratisma and digastric muscles. Also, needles angle and degree are important. Think about every muscles and decide how to put needles in parallel or against them, for example. I don't think that's a good idea to put needles directly on wrinkles because wrinkles are a result of stiff muscles or muscles weakness. So we search for which muscle has a responsibility of the wrinkle and target it. We also use touching needles or not only acupuncture needles. It's very useful to improve the blood flow. But please use carefully. If you use it too strong, you will make her new wrinkles and spots. Please use smoothly. More one thing. Image golden ratio and remark her shape of the face. Come close that ratio by touching needles. We got some questions after a presentation. The one question was, how long can patients feel the effect of cosmetic acupuncture? There is no evidence yet, so we try to make the effect longer and longer. This is the one of the reasons we must treat the whole body care with cosmetic acupuncture at the same time. Many acupuncturists don't care about normal body treatment with needles and only to do a cosmetic acupuncture. But we think the body care is very important element of cosmetic also. The health comes first. The health takes beauty too. Anyway, cosmetic acupuncture 
is not magic. You are aging every day. The cosmetic acupuncture is the one of the way against it. Our patients say the effect keep too weak long. I want to say our cosmetic acupuncture don't work only the beauty. I have many experience the effect for head, neck and shoulders pain and stiffness. I think an acupuncture treatment with cosmetic acupuncture can treat whole body. After the whole treatment, the patient really satisfied in both and effect keep longer. This is Hapra's method. <laughs> so, it's a wrap up a presentation the Society of Health Care for Menopause and Aging 2016. <laughs> See you. Bye. Bye.